So if we talk about different kind of formulas we use in organic compounds. So we will have three different kind of formulas. They are molecular formula. We have structural formula. And we have condensed formula. Molecular formula, it just gives us an indication of the number of carbon and number of hydrogen atoms which are present in the compound. For example, if I say butane, but means four, an means single bond, that means it has been derived from alkane. So the formula will be C4H. 4 into 2 plus 2. That means we will have C4H10 as the molecular formula. Now if we talk about structural formula and we take the same compound butane, it indicates how the carbon and hydrogen atoms are present in the compound. Like for example, butane contains 4 carbon. So the first step is writing down the 4 carbon atoms. AIN itself indicates that it has got single bonds, which I have already shown with the help of single bonds. Now, if one carbon is there, associated with one bond, it needs to have three more hydrogens. This carbon is associated with two bonds. It needs two more hydrogen. This carbon is bonded with two, uh, two bonds. It needs two more hydrogen. This carbon has got only one bond, so it needs three more hydrogen in order to complete the four bonds. So that means the structural formula will be obtained by writing down the complete structure of the same compound. So if you see, we have four carbon and we have 10 hydrogen. And in this compound, we have three, four, four carbon and one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So ten hydrogen. So the number of atoms will remain same, only the representation will change. And when we talk about condensed formula, we talk about the group of atoms which are present. Like for example, in the same uh, case, that is butane, the first carbon is associated with three hydrogens. So I will write down it as CH3. The second carbon has got two hydrogens, so we will have CH2. The third carbon is again associated with two hydrogens, so it is again written as CH2. And then the last carbon is associated with three hydrogens, so it is written as CH3. The number of carbon and hydrogen remains the same, but only the representation changes. This was in case of alkane. Let's just take one more example. Let's take the example of hexane. Hexane has C6 and H will be 6 twos are 12 plus 2, 14. So if we have 6 carbon, so we'll write down 6 carbons first. 1 bond, 3 hydrogens. 2 bonds, 2 hydrogens. 2 bond, 2 more hydrogen. Two bonds, two more hydrogen. Two bonds, two more hydrogen. And the last carbon has got only one bond. So it will be associated with three more hydrogens. So now in order to write down the condensed formula. So we'll have this first carbon which is associated with one, two and three hydrogens. The second carbon with two hydrogens. The third carbon with two hydrogens. The fourth carbon again with two hydrogens. The fifth carbon with two hydrogens. And the sixth carbon with three hydrogens. So these were the two examples of alkene. Let's just take one more example of alkene. Let us have pentene. Now here, pent means five, but ene means double bond. Double bond, it means that it refers to alkenes. And what is the formula for alkene? CnH2n. So now the molecular formula will be derived by using this formula. So C is 5 
and what about H? H will be 5 to the 10. So the molecular formula in this case will be C5H10. Now when we have to write down the structure, the first step is to write down the carbon. So since we have 5 carbon, we'll write down 5 carbon. But it is an alkene with a double bond. So we need to put up one double bond. If it is alkene, it does not mean that you need to put up double bonds in every position, but only at one position. So if you put double bond over here, this carbon needs two more bonds. That means it needs to be accompanied with two more hydrogen. This carbon, it has got two bonds here, one bond here, three. So it needs only one more hydrogen. This carbon has two bonds, so it needs two more hydrogen. This carbon has two bonds, so it needs two more hydrogen. And this carbon has one bond, so it will need three more hydrogens. So ultimately, the structural formula will take this shape. So if you need to write down the condensed formula, so the first carbon is associated with two hydrogens. And after that, we have a double bond. So we need to write down a double bond. And this carbon is associated with one hydrogen. Then a single bond with two hydrogens. Then another carbon with two hydrogens. And the last carbon with three hydrogens. So this formula now, uh, in case if we talk about the upper formulas, it was simply butane. It was simply hexane. But here, we need to focus on the double bond too. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is pent. But we have a double bond after the first carbon. So it is pent 1 in. In case if it is at the 1 position, I mean it is after the first carbon, we can write and we may not write. So it can even be written as simply as pentene. But suppose here we write down this double bond after the position 2. If we are writing double bond after position 2, then the structure will become the first carbon with 3 hydrogens. The second carbon has got a double bond over here, 1 bond over here. That means 3 bond. It needs 1 more hydrogen. This carbon needs one more hydrogen because it is already associated with three bonds. This carbon will need two hydrogens and this carbon will need three hydrogens in order to have four bonds. So ultimately, the formula now will become CH3, CH, double bond CH, CH2 and then CH3. Now here... Double bond is after carbon 2. So we will write down as paint 2 in. This 2 indicates that double bond follows the carbon atom 2. Now this can be written as paint 2 in or even pentene 2. Here sometimes you may ask, if we start the counting from this side, then double bond will follow carbon atom 3. But here, you need to remember that we follow a rule where the smallest number is given to the double bond. So that means we will consider the double bond after second and not the double bond after carbon 3. So if we take another example, let's just consider hexine. Hexine, hex indicates that it has got carbon 6 and ion indicate that it has got a triple bond. So it belongs to alkyne. And alkynes have formula CnH2n minus 2. So that means if we have 6 carbon, it will have 6 to the 12 minus 2, 10 hydrogen atoms. So in case if we write down the structure of this, the first step is to write down 3, 4, 5, 6 carbon atom and then put a triple bond 
at one position we cannot put triple bond at every place so it's only one place we need to put the triple bond so if we put the triple bond at the first position so the first carbon has three bonds it needs one more hydrogen the second carbon has one two three and four bonds so it does not need to have any hydrogen this carbon has two bonds so it needs two more hydrogen this carbon needs two more hydrogen this needs two more hydrogen and this carbon needs three hydrogens so ultimately the formula becomes ch triple bond c single bond ch2 single bond ch2 single bond ch2 ch3 and since the triple bond is after the position 1 we can even write down as hex 1 ayn and even it can be written as hexane if one is not written it is understood that the triple bond is after the position of first carbon similarly in this case if you put triple bond after position 2 you will get the name as hex 2 ayn there are some frequently asked questions and i would like to discuss those questions with uh, you a uh, question number 1 is if i ask write the third member of alkane so you will get the answer third member means i'm talking about n is equal to 3 and the formula of alkane is cn h2n plus 2 so the third member will be c3 3 2 is 6 plus 2 8 this will be the molecular formula and the name will be propane but suppose if i repeat the question but instead of alkane i ask you the same question write the name of third member of alkene then you need to know that if i put n is equal to 1 in the formula of alkene which is cn h2n my formula will be ch2 which is unstable because carbon is associated with two hydrogens only the four bonds of hydrogen are not complete hence this will not exist does if we talk about meth which stands for one and in stands for double bond methene does not exist does the first member will be not methene but ethene and it will have two carbon and in means double bond so the first member will be ethene the second member will be propene and the third member will be butene propene will have the formula c386 and butene will have the formula c4h8 thus we need to know that if it is alkene or it is alkyne the first member will be ethene and ethyne respectively because methene and methyne does not exist so but if the question comes write the molecular formula of alkene with n is equal to 3 here you should not be bothered about any member but simply you will write down the formula cnh2n and put the value of n to be 3 so if it is 3 this is 6 so the member is propene so the alkene with n is equal to 3 is propene but if i talk about third member it is butene now another question just to check write the fifth member 
of any kind. So if the question is, write the fifth member of alkyne, then you need to remember that the first member of alkyne, first member of alkyne is ethyne. The second member will be propyne. The third member will be butyne. A fourth member will be pentyne. And the fifth member will be hexyne. So, it will always be one carbon more than the number of member which it has been asked. Like if it was a fifth member, it will be hexyne. But if it was, write the fifth member of, write the fifth member of alkane then it would be the same, right? Then it will be C5H12, that is pentane. Thus, you need to keep it in your mind that the first member of alkene and first member of alkyne does not exist because methane and methane are unstable. So the first member of alkene series is ethene and the first member of alkyne series is ethyne. 